It's a blood test that could help detect breast cancer earlier. Developers claim it'll be a game changer, but it's still in the early days. Just can't wait to get it into the hands of patients and start making a difference. The sooner that you can jump on any changes, the more chance that you have at you know, beating this awful disease. When Renee Kinman was just 36 years old, her life changed forever. I found a lump in my breast one night. I immediately realised it wasn't normal. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and despite extensive treatment, the disease eventually spread to her lungs. At the age of 38, uh, I was diagnosed with stage four incurable terminal breast cancer. So my prognosis is two years or less. One in seven Australian women are at risk of being diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. And for survival, early detection is key. Renee didn't know she was sick until she found a lump. Other than a breast check, a mammogram is the main screening tool, and that's usually for women over the age of 40. But what if there was another option? Mammograms were established in Australia about 30 years ago. And if you think about phones 30 years ago to where phones are today, there had to be new technology and that had to be around a blood test. For the past 14 years, Jane Shaw has worked with a dedicated team of scientists, clinicians and researchers to develop BCAL diagnostics and what she claims could be a game-changing blood screening tool for breast cancer. So um, the test is based on a lipid profile, um, fats, uh, we extract your blood, we run it through an algorithm, it's a software program, looking at the um, algorithm or fingerprint of those lipids and that differentiates whether you've got breast cancer or not in your blood system. What made you want to develop this test? Unfortunately, I've had a few friends die of breast cancer, um, under 40, misdiagnosed, told they were too young, they had um, a breast lump, not to worry about it. Associate Professor Dr Sanjay Warrior is a breast surgeon in Sydney. Having an option out there that will make it easier for patients to take on arm um, screening, I, I, I see it filling that gap, essentially. Well, 50% of women who are eligible for mammograms choose not to have a mammogram, whether it's ethnic, cultural, the hard to access, particularly if you live in remote areas. The BCAL Diagnostics Lab officially launched this month. And while the test is yet to be approved in Australia, Jane and the rest of the team say they hope to have it available for use next year alongside mammograms. I just think it's going to be the way of the future. Until then, they need more samples for clinical studies. The more samples we have, uh, the further we can validate and accelerate the science behind the test.